Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, playing some more TerraTech. Now, last episode, I've talked a lot about building a base and starting some things up. I've got a little base here, and I've actually made it make a little more sense. I'm still working on this little conveyor section, but I've got a refinery going here. It's a real small one. It's not like the really big ones you see on other people's videos. I'm doing just a lot of work here. I'm actually going to switch these batteries out. Got a pretty good pad going here. It's protected by the shield bubbles, so... In pretty good shape. The only thing I don't like is the fact that those are going to be draining my batteries at night, but until I get up and grade, I don't know if there's any other power sources that I can use because the only thing I've got right now is the uh, solar panels. And I've got probably about four of those on the base. I've got quite a bit going on here. I need to actually take some of this off. But yeah, I need to continue to grind a little bit and get up and grade. And then I also want to make a harvester. I feel like if I make this refinery really big, I need a pretty decent harvester with a lot of things that will catch all the materials and I can run around and really take care of a lot of these rocks. So anyways, I think it's time to put on some batteries here. I've got a, I think probably a good amount is right around four or five for this current tech. So we're going to shove them all here towards the front. Should be good to go for a while here. Let's go hunt down some of these techs that are getting really close to our base. Now, I'm still trying to figure out about base defenses. I do have some guns up on it, and of course I have the little shield bubbles. But I'm pretty sure there's some other things that I can do to my base to make it a lot safer. Now, what is this? Turtle. I keep running into the same tech, and this tech has no sort of weapons on it. It just sits there. It's good uh, to get all these little parts, and I can sell those off. That's uh, another tech that I want to build. I need to build like something like a... Uh, something that just walks around and catches all the spare parts from the techs I've been destroying. I've got another small tech. I don't think I actually showed that off. It's a small combat tech that I built. It's just something kind of like a backup if this one were ever to be destroyed. I can go over there and grab it real quick. Now, I'm still kind of hovering around the same area, just taking care of missions in this general area. I haven't really wandered off too far. Uh, last episode, I built a small outpost, and I think the blue arrow up there is where it's at. Uh, we might go check that out here in a minute and add some more to it, because... Kind of need a couple of those around here, that way if I go on these like big journeys, I won't be completely screwed if something happens, or if I run out of batteries, because like I said, I am, I'm still draining them pretty good here. Uh, let's see, I think I've got, actually I really need to put a tractor pad on here because I need to catch some of these parts. Uh, I normally put at least one of them on my combat techs, that way if there is something that I want to immediately grab, I can carry it back to the base. Well, let's see. I don't really see any missions out here. It's just a bunch of random techs. Uh, pretty sure we'll run into something here in a minute. But let's see. What do we got over here? Yeah, a lot of these are in the same... A lot of these are the same techs that I've been seeing. The wait, the Bum Shuffler? Okay. That's a, uh, that's a new tech name. I don't think I've seen that one before. Oh, he had a drill on his butt. That's what it was. Okay. Try to take care of him. Now, I don't know if these flamethrowers are really that good. Uh, I have captured some techs by, like, running into them and just... Absolutely just drilling them with the flamethrowers, but I'm not really sure what type of like how much battery they use I'm pretty sure it's quite a bit Well, let's see. There's got to be a mission here somewhere. Is that a question mark icon is really just the outpost So I'm gonna wander around and I really don't know if like depending on the area you're in how much it changes Maybe the texts are different because I've I've ran across quite a few texts here and oh it looks like we actually have a mission That's popped up yeah, we need to go over there and see what this is all about. Okay, we are almost in the area of the mission, and I really don't know what it is. I think it's actually this rock. I don't know what this actually means here. No, it's not the rock. Okay, I've wandered right about here. And nothing's happening. Okay. That is a random mission that is really nothing. I don't know if that... Is that a glitch or is that something am I supposed to be searching around the area let me uh let me look around a bit there's a tech over there and there's this rock here let me destroy it make sure I'm not trying to activate something here nope that was just a normal rock gather some resources here there we go let's go ahead and take the pew behind a lot of these butt mounted guns that some of these techs have it's just kind of funny because they're they're virtually useless and there we go Destroy them. Actually, my flamethrowers are actually right over them, so... Destroy that one. There's another one I can run through over here. I'm trying to get a good look at them. Uh, no. Definitely not worried about them at all. 
Let's see, bigger Tony. Where is smaller Tony? I don't know if that's another tech. I'm assuming it is. Let's go into Story's cab. And boom! There we go. Yeah, that bugs me that that arrow is right out there. And I don't know what it is. Like, it's not anything, apparently. Well, I guess I'm going to wander further out here. Eventually, um, battery situation, eh, it's okay. And oh, I have a gun mounted under me. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Uh, let's go ahead and stick it aiming behind. I'm going to have some defense on the uh, back side there. Let's take out a couple more techs and I might swing back by the base and we'll maybe venture off in the other direction because it doesn't seem like there's much out here. And oh, this looks like a renegade tech up here. Let's go ahead and take him out. I don't know how close I am to in grade. Yeah, I've still got a little ways to go. Uh, we're pretty close in both of them right now, so hopefully we can get up there and get that taken care of. Come on! Who is this? Is it Chewy? Oh, well, whatever it is, he fell apart instantly. And boom! There we go. Alright, we've got our Geocorp License Grade 2. So we've got some more of that, and I need to go find some of the smaller techs and take those out, because I'd like to get to Grade 2 in the uh, GSO. But... Got a couple more parts unlocked. Hopefully, you got some bigger wheels. Uh, looks like we got a wheel here. I think it's probably this part. Yeah, I'm gonna need to gather some of these at some point. Let me wander out and see what's over the hill here and see if it's something else I can take out real quick. Ooh, look at that. That actually looks more intimidating than the actual Renegade or the Rogue, whatever the heck they call them. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, this guy's pretty big, actually. I need to stay away from his guns. Thankfully, I've got my, uh, my shields are still up right now, so we're in pretty good shape there. I need to stay away from his flamethrower because I'm pretty sure that can penetrate the shields. But yep, we just blew his front wheels off. He's got a lot of guns there on the top, so we're going to have to definitely just cut into him here. And oh, this is bad. Okay, we need to go charge him here and actually start hitting him with our flamethrowers. There we go. Just tear him apart. Tear him apart. And actually, we're in pretty bad shape here. His, his top guns are still going. Where's his cab at? Oh, it's right there in the middle. There we go. Look at that. Man, he's got... There's a lot of parts out here. I think it's time to head back to the base and possibly build something that's going to come out here and gather. And I lost some parts. I lost some batteries. And I lost a lot of my front-mounted guns that were right along the uh, front here. I guess I'll go ahead and pick up some of his real quick. That way I'm in good shape to go back. Up on the way back to base, it looks like we have another mission that we can take on here. This is another Renegade Tech, and he's just kind of... I don't know what he is. It's kind of weird because some of these Renegade Techs are really weak, but then once you get over to, the, like, there's, like, another one in the area, and they're really big. So it's always kind of funny when that happens, and let's just go straight after his cab here. Look at that, we're just grinding into him. <laughs> there we go. Let's just destroy that one. Man, there is a lot of parts out here I'm going to need to collect, so... I have to head back into this area. Let me go ahead and get these back. And our batteries are in bad shape, so I'm going to need to do that. Now, another thing I was thinking about for the base was building a small separate repair area. Like, I don't like having to hug up so close to the refinery. So maybe like a little platform, something I can drive either under or over. That we can, that's something like we can add up there. That way we can actually repair our techs a little easier instead of having to like shimmy really close to the base. But... Anyways, the base is just right up here, so. Alright, it looks like we need to get up in Geocorp grade to get the really big boy wheel. I want those really bad, but can't get those quite yet. I've got the batteries still charging over here, so we're going to set out again at night. I'm actually thinking I'm going to keep the same tech to go gather some of the items out there. I put a couple collectors on the back, so we've got that. About to swap out batteries and get ready to go here. Now, I'm going to experiment. Let's go ahead and go with the GSO here. Uh, we've got some of these big cannons, so I'm going to stick some of these on the tech. I don't think I've ever really used these before, so you know what? We might actually need to elevate these. Uh, let's stick... Hmm, don't want to stick those on the side. Actually, stick these towards the side and rear. I don't want to get rid of these guns, so let's stick those right there and there. It's not completely even on each side, and that might bug some people, but let's go ahead and stick the radar here. They're about to swap these batteries out, so I have a line of batteries in the back. But let's do that. Stick these guns maybe up here. And let's get another line of blocks. I know we're going to make ourselves kind of heavy here, but let's see. Let's do that, and let's move the repair bubble 
or actually it's one of the shield bubbles. That should be good right there. So do that. Place these blocks here in the front. Actually, looks like I need one more. So buy one more of those. Still doing really good on money. We're going to be doing really, really good once we get out here and uh, start to collect some of these parts that I don't actually need. So let's load these cannons up. How do they fire? Do they just... Oh, there we go. Didn't I buy one more? Did I just buy two? I thought I bought one more here. Oh, actually... <laughs> We're grabbing the one that fell back here. You know, let's do, let's go with uh, one more cannon here. So, buy one of those. And instantly, my pad over here is actually collecting it. No, don't do that. Don't collect. That's Those are supposed to be sold. Let's grab that. And we've got another cannon. Oh, actually, no, that's got to be right here. All right, pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and stick our spare batteries back. And we'll put some new ones on. Let's go ahead and make sure those are going to be setting on the pad and ready to go once the sun comes back out. Uh, I think there's got to be some sort of easier way to do this eventually. I've seen some people have like really crazy battery systems and I'm just not quite at that level yet, but I think we're going to be okay to run around here at night. So let's go ahead and grab, we need to load up on batteries here. We've got four in the back, looks like we can fit one more over here. So that ought to do us for quite a while. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this wheel. We're still grabbing stuff with our butt here, so let's do that. Put that back there. What is this? Is that a repair bubble? You know what? We might want to leave one of those at the base here, so. Anyways, let's go ahead and set out on some more adventure. I'm going to head back in the same direction because there's a lot of parts out there that I need to collect. And we can start making some more money here. All right, we've got another mission up here. And actually, this is pretty close to the same area that I was in earlier so let's go ahead and take out these two techs here these look like this might actually be a little bit of a fight here we'll see how these cannons work and hopefully they're not bad these are gonna be some fast little techs so I'm gonna have to definitely be careful here and actually I'm gonna get the I'm gonna head in this one straight on so this ought to be pretty good should be able to take this one out really quick there we go come on buddy gonna take him on all right I'm not really worried about him I'm worried about his little scout buddy scout buddy actually doesn't have many parts and Ooh, we don't need to aggravate the fight. There's a couple really big techs over there, and that could be really bad. Hopefully they don't come over here before I'm ready. There we go. The scout should almost be done. Seems like we need some more of the little guns that move around, because I'm having some issues, actually. Those cannons are good. They seem strong. Actually, they do turn. I didn't know they turned. Okay, that's good. Uh, a little slow. This little, little guy is going to sit here and continuously just spin around. It's like, just give up. You don't have any way to fight, so let's just run you over here. Actually, he's stuck under us. Oh, no. There we go. All right, just destroy him. He's out of wills, and boom. Enemies destroyed. We're getting so close. I really want to get to that grade two on the GSO. But we've got another mission up here. It's a couple, I'm assuming, some more renegade techs. Uh, we're collecting some on our rear end here, so that's good. And that is a monster. That is a monster. Okay, we've got plenty of battery life here. Now, question is, does Mr. Monster Tech over here, does he have any weapons besides the little drills on his hand? Actually, those aren't even the mission. The mission's actually over here. And I'm about as slow as these guys. Let me see if I can just get their attention here. Come on, buddy. I'm firing at you. There we go. Oh, oh, no. Oh. We've wakened the beast. God, that's a, that's a really huge tech. Okay, let's take... Try to take his buddy out real quick. Uh, no, I don't need him getting on me. Ooh, okay. All right, let's just kind of pull him apart here. His buddy seems to be confused over there with the tree, so... Gotta watch, I might back up into a mission here, and that's probably another tech. There we go. All right, let's just cut into him here. Try, I'm going right for the kill here, going for the cab. Boom! There we go, and oh, look at all the parts we're grabbing. Oh, no. Uh, that doesn't actually seem to really affect the weight, so I guess we're still in pretty good shape here. Let's go ahead and take him out. Go straight for the cab, and come on. Boom. Enemies destroy mission complete, and we've already got one more mission over here behind us. And that does seem to be maybe affecting the weight a little bit. We've got just a whole bunch of crap on us. And this is the mission. This is the other mission out here. Okay. Oh, come on, buddy. Excuse the odd cuts. If you still see some odd jump cuts in this video, I am still coughing really bad. <laughs> I really don't want to catch that in the video because it sounds terrible and I don't think you guys want to hear me cough. So if you're going to see any weird jump cuts, that's what's happening here. There we go. 
take him out. That's going to be another mission done here. We're getting so close. We're about 300, I guess they're points away. Let me think what we're going to do here. It's about to be day, so we have plenty of batteries charging right now. We could swap those out. Looks like we've still got a little bit of life left. Uh, I see another, I think that's a GSO. I'm assuming the GOs are the big yellow ones and the GSOs are the small ones up here. I see another one up here I want to go ahead and take out because we're getting so close and I'm running over stuff here. Actually, it was our pad trying to pick something up. This is a lot of money back here, so I definitely don't want to lose that. Uh, we'll go back and sell off some here in a second. But, ooh, do we see that? That is a huge G GSO tech over to the side there. I don't know if he knows that we're over here, but let's go ahead and destroy his buddy here. Get him taken care of now. Question is, do I have enough battery life to just go over there and try to take him on? He is stacked. <sighs> oh, this could be bad. Let's, nope, our batteries just went out. Trying to see what he's got. You know, he's turned around. Oh, I hope this isn't going to be a mistake. This might be the hugest mistake that I've ever made in the game. Let's go at him. We need to just charge him and just start cutting into him here. This is going to definitely be a fight. It's going to hurt us some too. But look at that. We're able, look at that. We're just charging right into him. We're cutting him. I need to find his cab. Cab's probably right in the middle here. So let's keep destroying him. Our cab is in pretty decent shape. We're losing cannons though. That's our problem. That we're so slow. Oh, this maybe was a mistake. No. No. Here we go. Need to charge him here. Start cutting into him. I, I see his cab. His cab's exposed. But we're not getting enough good shots on it. And our front of our tech's in pretty bad shape here. There we go. We're cutting into him. Cut into the cab. Get the cab. Flip him over. There we go. Boom. Wow, that was really close. And is he done? Cab's done. Okay. Look at that. That was a, uh, that was definitely a fight there. Let's go ahead and see if there's anything worth picking up right now. What is that? I don't know what that is. I'm going to grab it. Oh, it's a cannon. It looks like a smaller one. Hmm. Uh, what can I salvage here? Let's go ahead and take any bubbles he has. I can use the cannons. I'm just kind of chunk everything on here. He's got a couple bat. Well, at least it's one battery I can use. Uh, let's back ourselves up. I think we're pretty, pretty close to the max limit. Now, there's a couple, looks like, missions over here. We're going to have to not do those quite yet. I'm going to go out back to the base, get rid of all this stuff, and we're going to swap out batteries again. All right, we are all good to go here. I'm going back into that same area. There's a lot of missions there. I think I've packed enough batteries here. Looks like we've got, what, six of them on there. Uh, I've got the front cannons back. I seem to I really like those and I've got the uh, guns behind it that move around the cannons move too So it seems like we're in pretty good shape here. But yeah, there's a couple question marks out here So we've got some missions to do So let's see what kind of trouble we can get into and what is that actually is there a fight going on out here? Oh look at that there's two techs attacking each other out here, okay and they all seem to be... This is that same area, and whoa, that is a really big tech. Holy crud. Hey, why are you coming after me? You were just attacking him. You know, we're good here. We'll just continue to kill that one off. Just gotta watch Big Boy here. Big Boy here's got... Whoa, Big Boy's got three flamethrowers. Just gonna have to cut away. I see his cab up at the top, but I can't really go after that. I need to just get rid of his uh, flamethrowers. If I do that, I think I'll be in pretty good shape here. And we are just raining death from above. Seeing all those little bullets and cannons hitting him. Look at that. Let's go ahead and cut into him a little bit here. He can't defend himself, so let's go ahead and cut in. We're starting to hit his cabin. Oh, no. I want to get stuck on all of his parts here. There is just absolutely a ton of these things out here. What is going on? Looks like there's a couple big missions here, too. Come on. There we go. We're cutting right into the cab. Uh, went, for the, uh, went in for the kill there. Now, there's a mission here, and apparently it's these three... Okay, I think we can do this. Uh, normally these things don't have too many weapons equipped. I just gotta make sure they don't start running into me. That's the only problem I see. Actually, when I say that, Big Boy in the back's got quite a few guns on him. It's an enemy gang, so let's go ahead and take out this gang real quick. I need to worry about Big Boy here, because he's got the most guns. Everybody else is not too bad. Actually, not. no, 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 no. Okay, I really wish I could make him focus fire on not the tech that's to our side. Actually, we're doing a pretty good job out the f with the front tech. 
That's the only one I'm really worried about. These side techs are really not that bad. Let's go ahead and cut into his cab here. We need to actually move because I don't want to get caught in that other guy's flamethrower. Oh no, we're stuck. Come on, keep moving, keep moving. Keep firing guns. I think we've got this. His name is uh, Curious George. That's pretty funny. Come on. Come on, Curious George. That's who I'm worried. Oh no, I'm getting stuck here. See, that's the only bad thing about the collector is sometimes you run over a part, it tries to collect it, and it'll get stuck under your tech. And we're just cutting into the side here. It actually doesn't really seem like we're affecting and... Oh, really? I already ran out of batteries that quick? Alright, we might be in actual trouble here. Our guns seem to not actually want to focus on the uh, their top guns. I really wish we could... I mean, if we focused on those, we would be in pretty good shape here. And Oh, no, we're stuck. We're stuck, we're stuck, we're stuck. This is not good. Oh, we might have bit off more than we can chew here. There we go. His little uh, shock protectors, or whatever those are called, those are really, really giving us troubles right now. So this is going to be definitely a fight to the death here. I don't even see his cab. Apparently it's in the middle. You guys need to just take out the top guns. Uh, I might have to back out of this fight. Uh, it seems like this might be a little too much for me here. I mean, if they would just focus on the top guns, we'd be okay. But that's really what's absolutely killing us right now. Can we, can we focus on the guns, please? I need to figure out if there's a way to do that, because that is really annoying. The whole fact they're not focusing on them. Uh, let's try to cut into them again here. I'm just watching my cab. I'm trying to make sure they don't get hit. That's my main worry, is my cabs here. Let's go in for another shot to the side here. If I can disable... There we go. We got him on three wheels now. Okay, he's in pretty bad shape. I'm also in pretty bad shape, too. Really almost want to dump all this crap. Okay, we've got him pretty disabled right now. He can barely move, but I have a problem with guns. I don't really have many of them. I kind of, maybe I'll just get one of these pieces and stick it in front of my cab real quick and just use that as protection. Our wheels seem to be in okay shape, so maybe we're going to come back in and charge in. Try to get a couple shots on him here. Hopefully we protected the cab enough. I'm going for his wheels. At least disable those. We'll be in pretty decent shape. We're cutting away at him. I see his cab now. It's right in the middle. There we go. Okay, we've got him in pretty bad shape. We're in bad shape too. We're losing cabs. Put that back in front. <laughs> oh, this is a really... This is a fight to the death here. Oh, hopefully he doesn't come in either. Okay, let's go around. Got a couple parts on me here. We're going to grab those. Do I have any guns? I can't really tell in the uh, massive pile of crap here. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's got to be a gun in here somewhere. Let's go ahead and get some of this stuff out. Move. Come on. Gun, gun, looking for a gun. There's a gun. Okay, there's one. Let's go ahead and move these guns back to the front. I love that you can do this on the fly. Because this might save our butt here. So let's do that. Let's go back in for another round here and see if we can take out, take him out. Try to hit him from a distance here. And actually, no, let's charge in. See his cab. I'm going to try to cut into it with the, uh, Flamethrower here. We're cutting into it. Come on, cab. Go. Go. No, we are in trouble. Protect our cab. Invasion failed. What? Oh, no. We just lost our cab. Oh, that's not good at all. You know what? I've got the money. We're going to build another tech real quick, and I'm going to go out there and get my parts back. All right. I'm coming back for vengeance. I want my parts back, and I want to kill that one stupid tech. So I think I've stacked enough guns here. We're going to go in guns a blazing. Hopefully we'll hit what we need to actually hit here. And the cab is laying down. You know what? Charge in. There we go. We're hitting the right blocks. That's what I'm talking about. I want my parts back. Oh, that is upsetting. But we've got all our parts still here. So we're in decent shape and we're caught on something. Uh, let me see. I need to pick a part. I need to get these tractor pad or these little pads back. And then we're going to collect all of our parts and we're going back to base. Let's go ahead and start scooping up here. This is going to be funny. There we go. Completed the mission. I didn't get up to GSO grade 2 like I wanted to. I need to kind of focus more on those, but we're definitely going up in the geo grade. So doing good there. And this is absolutely insane. Uh, can we snack? I really want the flamethrowers, but I can always come back out and get these. Oh, stuck under the little tech here. All right. Anyways, that's going to probably about wrap it up for this episode. I'm going to go take these parts back to base, get my original tech back. I've already built a little tech here. It's kind of skinny in the back. It's uh, 
pretty maneuverable here. So I might actually keep this one and just rebuild my old one back too. So I can have two. And then I need to focus on getting a harvester and building more onto my base. But I think that I'm going to do a little of that like I did last time. I'm going to do a little bit in between episodes. That way it's not all about me grinding here. So we're going to do that in the next episode. I'll show you a progress update and we'll have some more, hopefully some more missions to do. I'm, maybe I'll already be up in uh, the GSO grade. So close, I really wanted to get into that area on this episode, but the whole fact that I lost a tech, so I had to go do a little rescue mission and uh, get it back. Uh, actually, you know, I don't even want to call it a rescue mission. That was that was just pure revenge there for that one tech. But anyways, I'm going to head back to base here, so hope you enjoyed the episode. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. We'll definitely be playing some more Terra Tech. I've got Scrap Mechanic coming up and all that other good stuff that you guys like. Anyways, hope you have a good day, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.